Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name's Yareli and today I'm going to be doing my budget. As always, I'll be using my awesome Erin Condren monthly planner. Um, I always have this link down below just so you know I am an Erin Condren affiliate. So um, I do earn a commission if you choose to purchase from them using one of my links. And um, I just, I love this. I love this so much for my budgeting. Um, I like the flexibility of being able to switch up my budget layout whenever I want. And because this is basically just um, a monthly view with a bunch of notes pages, I can change up the format, the layout, the order of all of my categories whenever I want, which I appreciate. If you need structure, um, for your budget, there are plenty of Etsy shops that make and sell budget kits. But like for me, I like to switch it up all the time. So I don't buy the budget kits. I just use washi that I have. And right now I am using this cute washi. This here is from Wonton in a Million. And it is from the Harry Potter collection. It's not called Harry Potter. I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically the Harry Potter collection. It is so cute. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I already um, pre- wrote this out and I'm missing a little line here so let's go ahead and fill that in okay these markers are also from Marin Condren I don't use them very often but I'm going to use them today let's see how this one looks all right so we do a zero based budget over here. My husband and I, we are married. We combine everything. Um, that's just how we choose to do our budget and our finances um, because we believe that, you know, we're married. We, <laughs> we combine everything. Um, what's his is mine and what's mine is mine. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but we have talked about our goals and we agree on all those and we trust each other so um we're both focused on those goals so we combine everything so that is that so let's go ahead and get started my um my preferred way of budgeting and paying our bills is to be quote unquote one month ahead so during the month of august i am saving up to pay all of our september bills so for rent we're going to be putting away three hundred dollars my husband, oh no, 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 uh, PUD is getting $10, that is our electric, Verizon is our cell phones, and that is getting $50 this week, Safeco is our auto and renter's insurance, so that's also getting $50, debt and miscellaneous is basically um, our car payment and all of the other miscellaneous bills, um, I just lumped them all together here just to simplify it and so that it would fit on this sheet. Um, I always do a monthly budget so that you can see what all of those other small miscellaneous bills are, but that's that's just, I just combine it all just to simplify it here. Also because I don't have a bajillion envelopes, I don't want a bajillion envelopes, so I just combine a few and that is what that is and our bills buffer this time is not getting anything so if i add all of these up i should um i'll put that down here so let's see 430 dollars is what i'll be putting away this week for our bills in september and now so we get into our our envelopes i like to limit the amount that we put into these three categories here our categories are cash envelopes our revolving sinking funds and our long-term sinking funds uh, we have a pretty hefty savings goal so i like to limit the amount of money that is set aside to be spent on things that are not bills so the limit that i set is 560 dollars so Starting off with the groceries, we do $100 a week for groceries. Again, it's just uh, my husband, myself, and our... Oh my gosh, my baby's going to be 11 months on Sunday. Crazy. So it's just the three of us. Um, so far, that's kind of been working for us, so I'm just going to keep it at $100. So my husband will get $15 in spending money. My son will get $15. Dates will get $15. Gas will get $60. Childcare would get $200. I will get 15. 
Our his and hers is basically our miscellaneous envelope and that'll also get $15. Our buffer, um, again, I've we've been spending money from our buffer. So now I'm budgeting money to put back into our buffer. We like to have a zero based budget. So um, we give every dollar that we receive, we give it a job, but we do have a buffer account. Um, so whenever we don't have enough for something or we're going crazy and <laughs> spending money that's not budgeted, um, there is money in our checking account. Uh, but I like to keep that at a certain dollar amount. So I now have to budget to replace the money that we've been spending. So I'm putting $30 back into our buffer. And then our scratch off savings challenge last week revealed that we were going to be putting away $30 this week. So let's go ahead and add this up. $495 is going away in our cash envelopes. I like doing this one so I can see like, dang, that's almost $500 that's just being spent every week. None of this is like frivolous extra stuff. Like this is just, you know, our, our basic stuff, but that's still like a lot of money <laughs> for, for me. $500 to me, it seems like a lot of money. All right. So our revolving sinking funds, um, is starts off with church. This is just for any like church activities that we want to you know, bring something like food, snacks, whatever, um, maybe arts and crafts supplies, whatever it is, um, things like that. I don't, we, I don't like turning in receipts for everything. So I like to keep money on hand that I can just spend and, um, contribute that way. Um, okay. So Costco is getting $5. Yo, Costco, Costco got me last weekend, guys. Holidays is getting $5. This is basically like holiday activities or anything that's not Christmas gifts. That is what the holidays envelope is. Gifts is getting $10. Medical is getting $5 and certifications is getting $5. So now if I add all of this up, we got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, $35 is going into our revolving sinking funds. And then our long-term sinking funds is um, everything. Let's see. So Christmas is getting $5. Anniversary is getting $5. Our Prime membership is getting $5. Our House Things is not getting anything. Our Moving Envelope is going to get $5. And my son's birthday is going to get $10. So now if I add all of this up, we got $10, 15 20 25 $30. So if I add these three categories up, $35, $560. I remember that is the limit that I set for us Um with these three different binders combined. So we are good there. Now, if I take our starting amount here, that's 1427, subtract the amount that's going to bills, subtract the 560 that are going away to our envelopes, I am left with $437. I'm going to do $400 again this week for our house savings and $37 for our emergency fund this week. So minus 400, minus 37, we are left with $0. That is what we call a zero-based budget over here. Again, that doesn't mean that we have $0 in the bank. It just means that every time we get paid, anytime we have any income, we assign that money a job so that we know where it's going, what it's doing, um, because we work hard for our money and we want to make sure that it in turn is working for us. Um, I love having a budget. I like uh, that feeling of knowing exactly what is going on. And, you know, we have this goal to buy a house. Um, we'll see how that all plays out. But at least we know that we're being proactive and saving for something that's important to us. Um, that is it for today, guys. Nice, short, and sweet. Um, if you have any questions on the budget or envelope or why we do the things that we do the way that we can do them, please go ahead and leave them down below. I will try to answer them for you. Um, as a reminder, I am not a financial advisor. I am not an expert by any means. I am just on this channel sharing with you guys how we handle our finances because I know that this is not like taught in schools most of the time. And um, I find these videos very helpful for me. I gain some insight when I watch other people's budgets. So if you have any questions about why I do the things that I do, I will be happy to answer that. Just remember, I'm not an expert. I just, <laughs> I just, um, I just like sharing. So that is it for today, you guys. I will be back tomorrow with something different, something super fun, super exciting. I am so excited to share with you guys. 
Um, thank you guys for spending time with me today, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!